Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We outside right now. I'm at my, my brother's spot in Houston. Um, we got the computer right here outside in the backyard and TV and stuff, so we just filming. Uh, but, you know, I'm super excited to show you guys this uh, trial, this video, and this overview, talking about it. Um, but anyways, let's just get straight into it. Now, I pull up, I'm doing my normal warm-ups, and my warm-ups right now usually take about 20 minutes, you know, it's pretty long, I get I get to a good sweat, um, and I'm pretty warmed up, like, I'm, I'm ready to go. Once I'm done with my warm-ups, I'm ready to go, you know, focusing on my hip flexors, uh, glute activation, hamstrings, um, you know, quads, just kind of getting everything loose and ready, and the thing that first started that, um, like, threw me off with this combine was... We want because the last combine that I did, we did our own warm ups and then we went straight to our 40s. You know what I'm saying? So I, I didn't have any wasted energy. So I did my 20, 30 minute warm up. Mind you, it's 90, it's 98 degrees, bro. It was 98 degrees, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was, it was rough. I ain't been in like hot, you know, weather like that for a minute. It was rough. You know, there comes a point to where you know that the 98 degrees plus the humidity, you know, everything just feels sluggish. Everything started to feel sluggish. I'm glad I went through it because now I can get my mental right next time just in case it happens. But everything just felt sluggish. Um, I dealt with it and kept my mind positive. Like, all right, I'm still going to kill it. You know, let's go. Let's do this. Um, did my warm-up. And then they caught us. And we did another warm-up that was like another 30 minutes. Uh, we did a lap around the the the, um, the field. And it's not, it's not about me being tired. I wasn't tired. It's just that you know i felt like my performance um just i felt like i was doing a lot i shouldn't have just i should have just waited and did their warm up and then continued on but we did a full you know extensive warm up 30 minutes lap around the field um you know high knees butt kicks um other exercises um that football teams would have you do for warm ups um a few sprints and then we got into it so they split us up into two groups one group was doing their 40 the other group was pretty much going into like you know height weight stuff i wish i was in the group doing the 40 because i was ready to go like i was like all right let's boom let's get it done you know what i'm saying uh, but no i had a long like rest period pretty much and uh they took my height and weight and uh dude i came in at 247 Dude, this is the heaviest i ever been i think i took my idea a little bit overboard um, I, I, I wanted to come in heavy, but I don't think 247 heavy, you know what I'm saying? I mean like 243, just a little bit, just, just get a little, a few more weight pounds in the, the forties, uh, just to seem like it make it more impressive. Cause if I could have, um, done that and ran a proper time in the 40, I think it would have been great. I uh, still ran a decent time, but definitely not Becca material time. You know what I'm saying? It's decent for like the average pro athlete, but not to my standards. So when I got to the um, the 40, you know, it was cool, um, felt good. They told me I ended up running a 4.6. Okay, 4.6, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm not impressed with it, but, you know, it's a 4.6. Um, this is the heaviest I've ever been running a 4.6 at 247, but, you know, could I have done better? Yes, I could have done way better. Uh, but that's what happened that day. Um, got to the second 40. Ran a another four six, I think it was like a four six seven, and uh, that the second forty I actually um, had a stumble. I stumbled um, from my burst, and um, so I'm guessing that's where the four six seven was. Uh, didn't argue about the time because you know I know I ran you know a low four five two, which was probably a four four, just because of how um, the CFL times their forties. The CFL waits until you're fully past the um, the finish line uh, before they stop the clock. So that definitely was probably in like the 4-4 range. But in all, you know, that's what I put out there. I can't complain about the numbers because that's what was brought to the table that day. Um, am I satisfied with it? Hell no, I'm not. I'm in the process right now of dropping the 230 pounds. Um, that's the goal. Goal weight, and we are going for the XFL July 24th right now. That is the premium combine that I am aiming for to get into the XFL in July. Now after the 40, we went into the broad jump and three cone drills. Uh, three cone is honestly something that I have not done in forever. I'll get back, I'll get onto that in a minute. But broad jump, I um, still once again, I mean I'm 247, seven pounds heavier than the last uh, combine that I was at, uh, which was two like two two and a half weeks ago. Um, I, I jumped a 10 10 at that combine. At this one, I jumped a 10 four. 
um, two times. I jumped the first one 10-4, and I was like, all right, you know, let's, let's try to get that 11. Let's get at least a 10-9, you know, 10 somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Let's get up. Uh, ended up jumping a 10-4 two times in a row. Um, I felt that I couldn't get that height. I got extension, but I couldn't get height as I look at the video. And um, so I'm going to work on that a bit more because that height would have allowed me to kind of open my legs out and gain more ground um, to cover um, versus just kind of like that straight lunge forward. Um, that, that would have shown more power being up in the air, you know, giving myself time to get my legs and stuff situated, kind of like Luigi in it. Uh, I used to be a long jumper back in the day, but Luigi in it, opening those hips and then landing, um, I would have gained more ground um, if I was able to get a bit more height on those broad jumps. 10-4 is good. It's not my best. It's not great. I always aim for the best. And um, so that's something we definitely need to work on, which will definitely come if I'm losing weight. Um, if I lose weight, regardless, all that's going to going to enhance tremendously, I feel like, especially if I'm down to 230, for sure. But moving on, we got the three-cone drill. Um, I haven't run this drill, honestly, since, gosh, since the last combine I did, which was like four or five years ago. Um, so my... My steps were kind of out of place. Um, something that I need to put a little bit more focus on this go around. You know, now that I know that it's something that you know might be possibly added to the next combine, um, I'm just going to work on all drills that any any combine throws. Pretty much, even if they don't have it, I'm just going to be working on all drills uh, just to make sure that I have everything down because these drills are about technique versus you know just full-on speed and, and like you there's steps to everything you know when I did the combine uh, when I did the training years ago I couldn't just run it you know just out of pure speed and athleticism you have to one two three have to count down and understand when to go up when to drop and uh, I kind of had lost um, thought of that when I ran it so we only got to run it once if I felt like we would have it twice um, I would have had a better opportunity, you know, to kind of get my steps down on that second one, but that wasn't the case. Next up, we're moving on to the drills, um, the linebacker specific drills, and uh, I felt pretty good. Um, I was kind of nervous, but I felt good because, you know, I know I have athleticism, I can move, um, but I just want to make sure, once again, it's all about, these drills are all about looking clean and smooth and um, were they the cleanest and smoothest for me? No. Is there a lot of work that I can do? Of course. Um, you know, my my explosiveness and speed, you know, I, ha I have that. Um, I need to work on my hips more, being able to drop down, sink my hips, cut, you know what I'm saying, work on my ankle mobility as well. And um, my brother, son, I keep coming out here. <laughs> I need to drop down and work on my ankle mobility as well. Um, and and being able to get my feet out the sand, you know, there's some areas in my drills where I felt like I was coming out the cut a bit slow. So once again, dropping weight will help in that because moving around 247 at my height is is a lot. You know, if I was like 6'3", 247, boom, I'd be everything would be butter. But I'm not, you know, because that weight is distrib distributed in a different different way. I'm 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 pretty solid and big at 247. So dropping down weight will once again help me be able to, um, you know, get out the hole a lot faster, um, just be more athletic, look more mobile, look more smoother. And um, so I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it with the combine. The, <laughs> the coach actually brung me over, bro. He brung me. He came to me. He walked over. He's like, you ever played running back? <laughs> and I just kind of like laughed at myself like, yeah, I, I did, you know, I you know, but we, I thought, you know, me and my coach agreed, my agent agreed to switch to linebacker because it would be a better offer. He was like, yeah, man, we think he might be fullback. And he tested my hands, um, said I need more confidence in my catching. So we'll be doing a lot more catches. I need to actually make more effort to find somebody to to get to, uh, to throw the ball to me and stuff like that, get more comfortable running routes and stuff. So right now, just because I might be on both sides, like I might, somebody might bring me out for linebacker running back, I'm just going to be going crazy with linebacker drills and running back drills just in case, you know. Um, I feel like linebacker would be the better position for me now, especially at the age that I'm at now, um, because I feel like I could have a longer time frame playing football, you know, uh, when I make it to the NFL. I feel like I can be in there for a few more years versus running back um, at my age. 
uh, I felt like, you know, I'll probably have like two or three years um, versus, you know, six years. I could be six or seven years I could be um, playing ball. So uh, that's it. This is like my overview. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment area. And yeah, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and just, you know, back to following my, my football journey. So let's go.